All right, today I'm going to show you a quick design. So I'm in Fusion 360. I'm going to show you how quickly it is to create a phone stand. So I'll start with a sketch, and I'm going to do the sketch of the profile. from. So from the side, what does it look like? So I'll sketch that out using the line tools. And so I can just click and drag or type in the dimensions as I go. I'll do a combination of both here. I've done my bottom and then the back piece and then now I'll create the thickness so I'll do 0.2 which will be consistent I'm not being very careful here but I can trim away that as I finish up the sketch so as I complete the profile it turns orange which means that can now be extruded so I'm trimming away the extra line and then from here, I'll create the block for where the phone will actually sit. So I'll double the, the thickness here at 0.4 and create a square. And that's it. So that's basically how I wanted to look from the side. I will stop sketch and then now I can create my 3D object. So I'll go to create and I'll use the extrude tool select my profiles and then I'll drag it out so that's our basic shape and now we'll do some surface modeling to kind of clean up some of that extra material that I don't want to be a part of the model so create a new sketch select the face of the 3d object and here I'm using offset tool, so it's grabbing the outside lines. And so I want that to be 0.2. And because it does from all sides, I'm going to add an extra rectangle to grab that bottom piece. Okay, I'm using the trim tool again to get rid of that line in the middle. And now I'm going to use the extrude tool. So the extrude in the sketch, you can either create or remove material. So here, because I'm pushing it into 3D geometry, it thinks I want to cut, which I do. So I'll cut that. And then I'll do the same at the bottom here. So because we've already done that cut at the top, we can actually use that as a guide going down for the bottom piece. And so I'll extrude this, but it'll be at an angle. So it'll cut into the back piece a little bit, but that's not going to be a problem. We'll just add a second or a third sketch and we'll remove that material. So again, add a new sketch, select the back face, and then create your rectangle over the material that you want to cut. Selecting my points. And you can actually use the dimension, so I'm, I'm measuring the difference between the two lines and just coincidentally how many be 0.2, but if it wasn't, you could just type it in and you could type in that 0.2 there. Okay, selecting the profile again and then cutting away. So from here, we've basically got the shape that we're looking for. And so I'll spend the next couple minutes just adding rounded corners and some extra features just to make it look a little bit more refined. So here I'll go to modify, I'll choose fillet, and I'll just choose the edges that I want to round. And so as I've shown you in less than five minutes, you can create a functional phone stand and it's, it's really doesn't require too much technical skill or knowledge. I basically use the sketch tool and the extrude tool and then I've used the fillet tool to refine. So three tools and you've created a functional model. Thanks for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series. Um, feel free to leave me any feedback and let me know if you have any questions.